So now that we've got our primaries down, um, we can start to do our color mixing areas. So I've got um, the hands are overlapping each other. So where they overlap, I'm going to focus on those color combinations. So we talked about using a scrap of paper, just copy paper, fold it in half. And I want to put uh, blue and red in there. So I'm going to go ahead and open my paint, dab a little on there. Don't want to use too much. Can always add more later. And I'm going to go ahead and add my red. Oh, dab a little bit on there. Okay. And then I can go ahead and mix them right on the canvas or right on the paper. Um, that gives me my purple color. And I'm going to go ahead and do my next largest space where both of them overlap with that color. Just kind of fill in. Be really careful when I get to the edges. And I'm going to go ahead and paint that up. And remember I'm stopping whenever it goes to an edge, like the edge of the shape. If you think of the black lines as walls and your paint as water, the water is going to fill up until it hits a wall and then it's going to stop. So I'm going to fast forward this video so you can see me paint and finish up this space. Okay, so now um, I have other areas that I need to color in. That's a combination of purple, um, and I can add my tints and my shades. Um, I could also change a color by maybe adding more of one, uh, one primary color or another. So I'm going to go ahead and dab a little, a little extra blue on there. I'm going to take some of my purple, mix it with my blue, just to change the blue so now it's a different kind of purple. I'm going to paint in the ring with that. Can change it a little bit more. Um, this time I'm going to add a little white to it. I'm just going to use the dirty brush with the white. That'll give me a color. I can throw that in a fingernail. Maybe I'll add a little bit more of that blue purple to it. So these are all varieties of purple now with where the two objects are kind of overlapping. I'm going to add a little bit more of this red purple. Maybe I can add some black in there as well. Now black is a very powerful pigment, um, so you really only need a tiny bit to add to a color to kind of make it affect it. Put that in there and that grays it. Okay, so I can use that in another area. Maybe I'll do the heart with kind of a gray color, gray purple. Okay, go ahead and add some more blue. Now, I've covered all of the overlaps with the blue and the red, so I have these little areas now that are different, and this one over here. So I'm going to go ahead and clean out my brush, put some more blue in there, and I'm going to add some neighboring colors to blue, my tints and shades. And because of these spaces, because these spaces are just where the blue hand is, I want to show differences so I can do some white and blue. Add a little bit more blue to that.
So all of this can now be thrown away. I've got my main colors on there. I did lose some of my lines, but at the end we're going to be able to go over those lines again um, with either a Sharpie marker or a paint marker to kind of make them stand out again. But you can see where there's overlap, um, we've got the color mixes happening in there, so there's lots of purples going on in there. And where it's just the hand um, by itself, we've got our blue and then different shades and tints of blue. So that's how we're going to continue with the rest of the hands as well.